So hi guys, and in the last tutorial, I made uh, uh, I labeled the different network address. So as you can see, here are the labels that I recently made. So this is the part three of the tutorial on the Cisco Packet Tracer. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be um, labeling an IP address for all the ports right here in this routers and this PC I'm gonna be labeling um, unfortunately I will not assign it yet but I will just label it first to avoid confusions and um, if you don't know how to make this topology make sure to watch my previous video I will be leaving a link in the description below for all the parts and this is the part 3 and if you want to watch on the very start make sure to go on the part 1 of the tutorial to learn the the very basics on making this topology so if you don't want to miss that just find the link in the description below so um uh, so to label as i do it last time select note or just press N on your keyboard and then I will be labeling all the ports so um, for your information uh, these ports right here represent a uh, port uh, I mean these dots right these red dots represent a port so if you have a gre green dots that means that is um, successful that has a successful and if you if you and if you don't have a red dots that means that is is unsuccessful so I'm gonna be labeling an IP address for this port right here so we have to label an I we have to assign so I will just label it first so select node and then I will just label an IP address for this port right here 192.168. Um, let's just so as you can see the network address is 4.0 so to have an IP address of this one so this port uh, depends on this network address so if you have a port point zero I network address make sure to uh, follow this so just edit this one so to assign to label so I will just label it first you'll need to have four dot something you can f have four dot two you can have four dot ten the you can have four dot one hundred but the best thing is you you have to select 4.1 for that port that is my recommendation so i will just move that and that is the network address for this port right here so we have to label an ip address for this one so before assigning an ip address make sure to label it first to avoid confusion guys that is uh, the good thing about labeling so the na the IP address for this one is depend depends on this um, network address so we have um, let's say we have 3.0 and you can have 192.168.3.0 um, point something in there you can have three point something so let's just edit oh I forgot to put dots dot on here one and two dot one six eight that three dot zero so you can have anything three dot something but the I recommend you to have a common IP address to uh, remember it quickly and um, that is the IP address for this port right here so I'm pretty sure you kn now you know how to put an IP address for these dot these ports right here that that's represent a port and um, 
I will just make it faster so I already explained you how to um, label it so do that one and this for this port 192.168.1.1 so in case you don't know this IP address is the default gateway this IP address is the default gateway I mean this IP address is the default gateway of these computers and this IP address is the default gateway of this computer and this IP address is the default gateway of here I'm pretty sure you know that the default gateway so I'll, I will not going to show you how to set an default gateway for this computer right now but that is just a brief um, explanation so we have already put an IP address or label an IP address for the the fast Ethernet port so um, as you can see guys the ports doesn't have names or labels so to show labels for the ports go to the option tab and make sure to select preferences and then show port labels always show port labels so close that so as you can see we have 192.168.6.0 uh, that is a network address and this is this one is the um, labels for the ports as you can see right there that is a port label that is port label and make sure to have always show port labels guys so assign I will assign an IP address for the serial port right here so I will assign a network address I mean the an IP address for this port this port this port and this port and this 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 so we have to assign oh sorry for that I've I've already an, uh, an assigned an IP address for this port right here as you can see can have you already have labeled it um, for your information w I did not assign it yet but I will just label it and um, later uh, you will going to know what is the importance of labeling so the IP address for this is depends on this network address so you can have 192.168.6 point something you can have 6.1 6 to 6. Point, you can have 6.50 but the 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 uh, you cannot uh, have a 6.255 you can have that it only accepts uh, 1 to 254 and as you can see we have lab we will label it 192.168.6.1 so as you can see 6.0 and here 192.168.6.2 and for this network it depends on this network address so I will label a network, um, an IP address for this port 192.168.5.1 and 192.168.5.2 and just move that right here and in this part right here is 192.168.5.2 Seven dot one one nine two dot one six eight dot seven dot two. So, as you can see, where I have to arrange it, 
more widely so range that I'm pretty sure you know how to put an IP address for this port right now So, um, all you have to do is to label these computers right here, and it is pretty much easier. So, just go into node. Oh, you, you can just select this, um, this one, and edit this, and um, let's say 192.168.4.1. So we cannot use 4.1 because we already use it right here. So as you can see, we have used 4.1 and there is must be 4.2 or something, but I will just use 4.2. And this PC is 192.168.4.3. This PC is 192.168. 8.4.4 you can have anything like 100 190 and you cannot have 255 above you can have 254 only because 255 is the uh, broadcast address and above is not it is only limited so you can have 254 below also 254 you can have 254 but I will just use 4.4 right here so 4.2 4.3 4.4 the same as this PC so 192.168.3.0 and for this PC 192.168.3.3 so I I, mis I have mistaken this thing right here that is oh, why can I edit it that is 3.2 huh, sorry for that I, I, I have mistaken that so oh this PC right here is 192.168.3. Um, let's say 4. Yes, 3.2, 3.3, And this PC right here is 192.168.2. Because we already use 2.1, so you can have you can use 2.2 in here. You cannot use 2.1. 192.168.3.4. Yes, and then for this part, or this PC is 192.1. 168.1.2 so as you can see the network address 1.0 1.2 because you already used the 1.1 1 .1, have to use 1.2 168.1.2 dot four so guys i think that's it for this video so uh just continue in the next video and make sure to continue that i will explain to you how did i do this ip ra i the setting an ip
Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.